radio station I was listening to was from Utah, Oregon. Utah, Oregon? Um, Utah. Oh. Orem. At night, Orem. you were getting at it? You were picking it up? Orem, Orem Utah. Orem. Well, Coast to Coast and those other shows, they got a lot of stuff on there they can't verify. Was it, cla was it classified as news? Not really news, it's speculation. Well, but the news are the news, they're the same. Yeah, well, I mean, it can be a non event. You know, a lot of what they talk about is non event. No, on the coast to coast and there's speculation things. You know, like the one about all these underground military bases under the ocean and stuff. I don't know. You, you made that, that one up. No, that was on the coast the, to coast. How did you hear that it was under the ocean? Well, at least underground and all that. And yeah, the one was talking about under the ocean there. They got somewhere one in the Middle East that's under the Red Sea or something. Like that. Mm -hmm. It's like area. What's it? Fifty one in Las, in north of Las Vegas. Well, thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. The what? The area. Area fifty one. Right. But most about what's written yeah. about it doesn't. <laughs> well, it's like Charlie telling us the other day. He says, well, there are UFOs all over, all over the universe. And they have these gardens, and Earth is a garden for these people, this, these aliens. And they have to come to Earth every now and then to tend to the garden. I'm thinking, you know, yeah, it could be, Charlie. I mean, it could be. Could be, you know. I mean, it's possible. I'm not saying it is, is within the, you know. But there's absolutely nothing to back any of that up. You know? it sounds to me like it's mythology. Yeah. yeah. Until something happens, that you see it yourself. No, but didn't the people? They developed the mist, that was how they did. They did it to explain the mist. Yeah. That's, that's a long time ago, which is a big difference. That was to explain the, you know. Now we're into inventing things so that we stay entertained. It's like entertainment. You know? UFOs are good because UFOs, there's an infinite variety of stuff you can dream up on, what, on UFOs. You know? Back in the caveman days, everything was out of the ordinary. That's why they dreamed up all these things. Please, thank you. Yeah. That's why they dreamed up all these things. You know, to explain it. It could have been how religion started. Was trying to get an explanation for it. If you listen to the Indian in the movie last night talk about how the Cherokee came about, you know. Well, it's not too far fetched from Genesis and the Garden of Eden, you know, that kind of thing, you know. Well, I think you wonder, though, is just how did society get to the where it is now? I mean, it's kind of, kind of a strange way to evolve, you know. Well, that's easier than figuring out why. How is maybe easier than figuring out why. <clears throat> well, the, the bottom line there, I think, is that you know, the brain is still wired to go out and forage in the forest and live in caves. Mostly wired that way. That's what it's for. More of an existence like the monkeys live, no? Except, except maybe us, instead of being up in the trees, we would be on the ground, you know? But that was, that was, you know, for hundreds of thousands and millions of years, even back to the one that they just discovered, that kind of the missing link.
So if that's the case, and you realize that, maybe it makes a lot more sense. It could make a lot the, more sense. The how came to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it kind of explains the, the mess we have in our heads. It kind of explains the weird, the very bizarre shape of the brain and the function of it. But you know? not all of us have those myths in our heads. And it's helpful. No, we, all have the, we all have the wiring in our heads. We're born with that. Yeah. I think that's creativity. Well, it doesn't make any sense how it's set up. A lot of it doesn't make sense. It's not actually sense. But it does make sense if you're looking at all of a sudden at a certain point in time, pressure came on the species, then it had to mutate, right? For whatever reasons, the pressure came, and then the mutation started. And the mutation in this instance for the humans was the increase in the cranial capacity, the size of the brain, the head. And that made all the difference in the world. And the last one probably brought us language. But instead of grunting like the monkeys and pointing, you could actually explain complex ideas, issues, facts, figures, whatever, you know, with great detail. Right? Yeah. We well, can also. Time has gone from being a monkey to a man. Millions of years, millions of years. The one that already was what six, five million, four million years ago. Yes, yeah, so it's been it's been it's taken millions of years to get there. And then you had a couple mutations that kind of threw things together, right? Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna make this huge. We're not gonna do it little by little. We're gonna make this huge big honking switch within a matter of ten generations or twenty generations or hundred generations, whatever it is. We're gonna we're gonna increase the brain capacity by thirty. That means you're gonna have place in the head for frontal lobes and, uh, and uh, what is it, uh, uh, cerebrum. And you can think, and that's where language is you know, comes in. So not only could you say, we're going to go hunt the woolly mammoth tomorrow, but we're going to do it at noon, and we're going to do it, you take the spears and you take the rocks and, you know. So yeah, of course it also said, you know, golly gee, you know, we're hungry and the clan, the clan over in the next... Someone hands food. Let's go. Let's go jump on them. You know, get their food. You know? uh, war started that way too, right?